I apologize if I'm a bit dead to the world right now. I've been up all night. I hate my life. So a few of you may have realized that I didn't upload yesterday. That's right, I missed an upload day. I almost never miss an upload day. But I did, yesterday. On purpose. Why? Because I actually found something so stupid and so poorly written that I feared for my life. So I took a day, went to the doctor. I told this doctor, Hey doc, I need a few tests run. Make sure my cognitive functions are on the up and up. The doc was all, Why? What happened? I replied, I saw something stupid on the internet and I fear that I may have contracted a mental disorder. The doc then told me that was impossible and kicked me out. I doubt she understood the gravity of the situation. You ever come across something that's so out there that it can be seen leaving Earth's orbit while riding a three-legged rubber duck while also dancing to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb? I did. I found that thing. Night before last, at around 2 a.m. I've seen things. I've seen things that no man should ever have to see in order to validate his claim that humanity is doomed to fail. First things first, there's no video for this project. Nah. They didn't feel like having one. That's right, I found a project that I'm still going over even though it has no material to go off of. God help me. So this right here pretty much breaks every system I have for how I make my videos. I have no idea what to do, so I'm pretty much just gonna jump right into it. For today's project, we have a new mathematical system. Yeah, this guy reinvented math. Like, this guy rewrote how 2 plus 2 works. He actually made it equal fish this time. Turns out Fairly Odd Parents was always right. May God have mercy on our souls. You may be wondering why we needed new math. You may be wondering what's the whole point. Oh my friend, this is some next level math. He's claiming that this new math can answer anything. Seriously, he's literally marketing. God, why? There's a fly buzzing around this room. It's annoying as hell. He's literally marketing the answers to life, the universe, and everything. I'm serious. Quoting him exactly, he states, and I'm gonna read here, I have the foundation of a new mathematical system that explains absolute everything in the entire universe from the beginning to the end and makes it dead easy to understand the entire existence and its mechanisms. Hey, uh, buddy, if your math's so good, why does your spelling suck? Now, we all know this is absolute bullshit. There's no way this is real. It's okay, though. He claims that, quote, The system will be revealed and proven before any money will be accepted by me, of course. And if it is not proved to be right, then I will offer all of the pledgers my apologize for wasting your time. So he won't even accept your money before this is proven to work. How much is he asking for again? It's freaking fly, I swear, it just flew in front of my face. 11,643,258 dollars. Huh, so you won't accept a dime, right? You're telling me that if you get almost 12 million dollars, you won't accept a dime until everything works. You won't take it the second you can. Well, that's very commendable. That's very pure-hearted of you. Someone that pure-hearted must be very interesting to learn about. What does it say about this guy? Well, here we see that his name is Stefan and that he's from Norway. We also find out that he has autism. I don't know if you realize what this is, but having autism and being really good at something like math, there's a name for that. It's called being a savant. All of your normal human social skills just fail. You cannot talk to a normal human being in a normal human interaction way. You normally never see a savant speaking how a normal human would. There are piano savants that are amazingly gifted and can play any kind of music on a piano. There are chess savants that you can pit them against any computer and they will win almost every single time. But something you don't see a savant doing is making a Kickstarter to advertise their skills. This fly just landed on my sleeve. I see it. Fucking get it? Damn it! So, Stefan, you're a savant, eh? Okay, I've been rambling about this long enough. 
we can all tell this is complete and utter bullshit. There is no question that one, this will not get funded, and two, the fact that this guy is a complete and total moron. Chances are you guys can tell I'm fairly upset. It's because, since making this YouTube channel, I have seen at least a hundred of these types of Kickstarter campaigns. No effort put into it at all, clearly bullshit, and most likely made by someone high off their ass. I'm honestly sick of seeing these. Kickstarter has rules. It has set boundaries to stop things like this from becoming a thing. But the company known as Kickstarter never enforces those rules. You can report a Kickstarter as many times as you want, and unless there is great, great media backlash, it will still be up the next day. Do you want to know why these guidelines and rules are in place on Kickstarter? It's so Kickstarter can look at a situation that went wrong and just say, oh, we're sorry, we can't police every project that gets posted to our website. There's thousands every day. We're sorry that this one slipped through. These rules are in place not to protect the consumer or people creating legitimate projects. These rules are in place to cover Kickstarter's ass. And I'm sorry, but that is incredibly wrong. Kickstarter could be an amazing platform where people who have real inventions can just put their thing out there, get a project started, and get something funded. But instead, it's become a joke. Kickstarter could be one of the greatest things the internet has ever given us, but instead, I make YouTube videos laughing about it. And it's projects like this that keep Kickstarter from being what it could be. At this point, crowdfunding is a joke. And it's because of stuff like this. Have a good day, guys. I've got more work to do.